United Kingdom, land of hope and glory. Who better to entrust with our nation's heritage than... Chedwood? Today the twins are in Cheddar Gorge and competing to give some surprise tourists a cheesy tour that they'll never forget. Yo, Jenny, give me a beat! Will the team's knowledge set the world on fire? Whoa, like some sort of crazy magic. Or will they hit rock bottom? It's a static time! It's a static mind! It's time for Jedwood's big adventure! Oh my Jedwood! Come with us, this is much to discover. Crazy things. Me and my brothers will dig up things that will freak you out. Jedwood's big adventure. Be a tall guy, there's so much to do. There's a whole plan at the end, it's just for you. Never know what you find, or what mess with your mind. Hair is a treasure, totally wild. Amazing Jedwood's big adventure. The Cheddar Gorge in Somerset, a world-famous beauty spot with stunning clifftops, spooky caves, and all sorts of rare and interesting wildlife. Like him. Hello, mate. Talking of which, where's Jedward? We're here, Edward, the Cheddar Gorge. Whoa, I can't believe this is all made of cheese. Edward, what are you doing? Don't you want some bread and pickle with that? Yeah, that'd be awesome, John. Edward, look, it's our mission, dear Jedward. Welcome to the Cheddar Gorge. In just 24 hours time, you'll each have to give a group of tourists a guide tour around the gorge. You'll be going into caves, climbing rocks, and meeting a 9,000-year-old man. John, that's like as old as Louis Walsh, or even as old as Simon Cowell. Today's winners will get to play a game called Kurtz and Way Hey, where they get to roll the losers around in a giant ball full of cheesy curds and way. Oh, John, we're gonna need some help. Hey, look! I can see Karen Aline from Friday Download and Jamie Borthwick from EastEnders! Guys, get over here! Guys, over here! John, Jamie. John, hey, John! Hey, guys! John! They're right here! <gasps> oh! What's up, guys, Kay? Welcome to Jared's Big Adventure. What do you guys know about Cheddar Gorge? Uh, not a lot. Nothing. You guys don't know anything about this place? Not do you like good. cheese? Not really. Not really. So, I think we should go ask the experts. So, you guys relax while we go get the facts. Let's Come go, on, John. Let's get out of here. Tomorrow, John and Edward will be leading a group of tourists around the Cheddar Gorge. No cheesy task. John will be helped by Jamie Borthwick, while Edward will be with Kieran Aline. I'm just so glad I'm with John. No, I'm with John. No, I'm with John, the one with longer hair. The twins are both exactly the same. John's the clever one, and I'm glad that I'm with him. Because that means I won't lose. Oh, no way. Yes, maybe Kieran should be worried, as Edward has lost every tour so far. Will Team Edward be able to turn it around? Each team will be given three stories, which the tourists will be tested on to establish who the best tour guides are. So the boys had better concentrate. Hey guys, welcome to Cheddar Caves and Gorge. As you can see, there's a cliff. It's time for the boys to meet their first expert, John. Hi, John. He'll be taking the boys on a magical whirlwind bus tour of the Cheddar Gorge. Gorgeous! Oh. What's up? I'm John, he's Edward, and together we are Jedward! And we're here to find out all we can about Cheddar Gorge. Let's go on the bus, the Jed bus! Cheddar Gorge. We're ready to find out all we can about Cheddar Gorge! Let's go! Calm down, boys! It's vital you remember as many facts as possible for tomorrow. We're travelling up a prehistoric riverbed. The river is the River Yo. Is he really taking notes on his hand? Let's hope that's not permanent ink. Now, Cheddar Gorge is just over three miles long. Well, can you repeat that again? <laughs> At its highest, it's 450 feet high. You got that? I remember all this information. Oh, no. This makes it the longest gorge in Great Britain, but also the highest inland cliffs in the country. How high? On our right oh side, dear. You can see the highest sheer limestone cliff face in the country. A question. Where's the cheese? Oh, it's a good question. Loads and loads of wildlife here in Cheddar Gorge. There's sheep and there's goats as well. And they're here to help keep all this scrub down. Are the sheep like lawnmowers? Kind of. Living somewhere up there is the fastest creature on the planet. What's that? The peregrine falcon. They can reach speeds over 200 miles an hour. Whoa, that's fast. So, that's the end of the bus tour. Whoa, 
to tell us so much facts, John. Editor, I hope we learn enough facts for tomorrow for all the course. I just kept talking and talking, and I just didn't go in my brain. See what I wrote down in your hand. What are you doing? This doesn't look like facts. It looks like scribbles. I like the color of the pen. Let's get out of here and let's see what else we can find about Cheddar Gorge. Cheddar Gorge. Fingers crossed they've retained some information as one of them is going to have to take a party of tourists on the same tour bus tomorrow morning. Come on, John. Hurry up. Let's go. Whoa! Whoa! Next up, the boys have entered Goff's cave to find out all about how the gorge was formed. And John's back to tell them. Let's hope the boys can keep up this time. Whoa. What is this place? It's like a huge lump of cheese. <laughs> this is called Goff's Cave. And why is it called Goff's Cave? The gentleman that first excavated it was called Richard Goff. So if we find a cave, well, could we call it the Jera Cave? Yeah, call it whatever you want. How are caves formed? They're formed by water. Over the past 2.6 million years, Britain has gone through extreme changes in weather. At one time, most of the northern hemisphere was covered in huge sheets of ice. As each ice age melted, huge rivers of water flowed across the land. In Cheddar, the water gradually carved through the limestone, creating the gorge as we know it today. It's so cool because it's so natural and built all by nature. Stop worrying about the bats and start worrying about the facts. Have a look in there, because there's stalactites, stalagmites, and columns in there. Check it out, Ed. There's stalagmites, there's stalactites, there's water. Tell us more about stalactites and stalagmites. Stalactites are the ones that grow down. The water dripping through the roof, leaving yeah. behind its mineral deposit. Stalagmites, the ones that look like your hair, are the ones that grow up. Awesome. So if people ask us from now, John, where did you get the inspiration for your hair? I was going, you know, one day I was walking down a cave, saw these things called static mines, and I decided, you know what? It would be pretty cool if I styled my hair that way as well. It's the rock's fault. Anyway, this place looks really, really spooky. Like, it looks like somewhere where people would, there's dead bodies or something. <laughs> Funny you should say that, guys. Uh-oh. Let's go and look at something else. Intriguing. I'm gonna make a wish. I wish that Jerry's big adventure will become the biggest adventure. Here's hoping! Tomorrow, John and Edward will go head to head as they each take a group of tourists around the Cheddar Gorge. The loser will face a cheese ball of doom. <clears throat> Sorry, got carried away there. Maybe not doom, but they will become rather weak at the knees as they're rolled down a hill in a ball full of cheese. There it is. I can't get in a ball of cheese and roll round. I want to be the one pushing the ball, not inside. One, get all dizzy, and I, that would be terrible. And two, I don't like cheese. Well, you must be crackers then, coming to cheddar. <laughs> oh no! It's time for the next story, which is all about the cheddar man. Talking about dead bodies. How about oh that? my Jedward! It's a dead body. Is that real? It's not what real. What happened? This is a replica but it's laid out exactly as it was found in 1903. This is called Cheddar Man. At just over 9,000 years old, Cheddar Man is the oldest complete skeleton ever to be found in Britain. At some point during his life, he received a massive blow to the front of his head, which eventually led to his death. He was found amongst old tools and animal and human bones, a sort of prehistoric rubbish tip. So this is a rubbish chip then? We think it probably was, yeah, because of the, the number of thrown away flint tools in here. So John, who was Cheddar Man? He was a Mesolithic hunter-gatherer. We don't know an awful lot. We can make some guesses. We know that he received a nasty blow to the head at some point. Didn't kill him. We know that because the bone started to heal. But a bit of the bone got caught in his sinuses, caused a massive infection and killed him. So maybe because of his head injury, he acted a bit strange and they buried him in here, out of the way of everyone else. A few years ago, they did some DNA testing on the bones and discovered that there's a direct link with Cheddar Man and the current history teacher in the school in Cheddar. I think we're related to Cheddar Man, Edward. No, John, we can not relate to Cheddar Man. I don't even like cheese. John, do you like cheese? I like cheese. What type of cheese do you like? Cheddar. You Cheddar believe it. <laughs> I'm sorry. The boys are halfway through their tour of the Cheddar Gorge. So far, they found out when the gorge was formed, all about stalactites and stalagmites, and some rather cheesy facts about the Cheddar Man. There he is. Tomorrow they'll be going head to head, and each giving a tour of their own. But who will find it easy cheesy, and who will be getting cheesed off? I'm going to stop now. Back to John, 
who will this time be telling the boys all the chewy facts about cannibalism. Yikes! <gasps> so, John, what do you have to show us here? What is this? Behind you guys are human bones. They're real! They're real. They were found in Goff's cave. And why are they here? These are evidence that cannibalism happened in Cheddar Gorge. Cannibalism? What's yeah. cannibalism? People eating each other. The people who stayed at the gorge mainly ate horses, which they killed by chasing them over the edge of the cliff. But there is also evidence to suggest that our ancestors were cannibals. It's believed they even took the flesh off skulls, cut out the eyes, ate the tongues, and then carved the skulls into cups and bowls for eating and drinking. Oh, that's crazy. That's like me eating you. When did this actually happen? About 14,700 years ago. But these people are dead before they start eating them. Oh, yeah, they would have been dead. They would have been cooked. How do you know there was cannibalism? Have a look in there, guys. Have a look through the magnifying glass. There's clear marks where the people were scalped so they could get access to the eyes. And also clear marks where the tongue had been cut out so they could eat that as well. Do you think it was nice and soft and tasty. Ugh. I'm really, really getting scared. Okay, John, can we get out of here? That was so creepy. So scary. I'm so scared. I think I need to change my. Whoa. Anyway, moving on. It's time to meet our next expert, Paul. Or should that be Caveman Paul? He'll be taking the boys back to the prehistoric times and showing them a thing or two about survival back then. Paul, what are we wearing right now? These lovely deer skins. Um, the sort of thing Chad and Man would have been wearing here. Can you tell us more about what it was like back then? The life was about surviving. You did what you could to survive. Our ancient ancestors used razor-sharp flints to kill and to butcher animals and to make clothes from the animal skins and furs. Flint napping is the shaping of flints into different tools. Everybody would have had their own toolkit. This is a lump of flint. Um, and this would have given you all your very sharp knives. That's wow. really sharp. One of the sharpest things on the planet, obsidian. So back then, you had to actually go and get your own food. You had to get your own food, and you had to make your tools to catch the food. What are cool things can you show us from back then? We use these sticks to light fires. Can we make a fire right now? Give it a go. This is the bow. So that goes in there. Yeah. Spins around. If I just do it very quickly, then you have to start this. Oh, wow. Well, this looks interesting. Whoa, it's creating smoke. And dangerous. Whoa, it's amazing. <laughs> See what I mean? There's a little ember in there. So it's going to create what they call a bird's nest. This is what's going to actually make the flames. Well, well, he's not going to pick that up, up, is he? Uh oh. He's going to burn oh. his thumbs. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. This is like some sort of crazy magic. Dangerous magic. Yep, so you Don't do that, you're gonna burn your hair off. Stand back. Woo! Yeah, kids, don't try this at home. He's a fully trained caveman. And speaking of fully trained, let's see how the boys are doing remembering all those facts. We got to make an actual fire all from scratch. We learned so many cool, interesting facts. I'm really, really excited about meeting the tourists tomorrow and John, going through all the cool facts. I'm gonna beat you. The day's not over yet, boys. You still need to meet one more expert. John. His expertise is cheese. There he is. Nice hairnet. Let's go find out how cheese is made. Jedward are in the house. Whoa. Amazing. All right, John. Me and Ed are here to find out all we can about cheddar cheese. To me, this looks like a gigantic bath. What is this? This started off this morning as milk. Now it's become curds and whey. So how long has cheddar cheese been made here in cheddar? Cheddar cheese has been recorded around this area for over a thousand years. Cheese was first brought to Britain by the Romans. Cheddar cheese got its name from the town where it was first made. Today it's made all over the world. But in cheddar, over 60 tonnes are made every year in the traditional method. What's he doing right now? He's cutting it so that the curds and the whey will separate. Cheese making's all about is turning a liquid into a solid. You're trying to get more and more liquid come out of it and the solids then stay as the cheese. Oh, it feels so cool. It feels amazing. It feels like brains. And where are the cows? The cows are about two miles from here. It's really important that they're from cheddar. What's he gonna do right now? Right, what he's gonna do now is start this paddle going. If me and Edward had our own cheese dairy here, could we call it cheddar cheese? Oh yeah. 
Cheddar cheese, not coming soon to all good retailers. So I think it's time for us to get out of here, get out of these outfits, and get out of these crazy hairnets. Let's get out of here, John, this way. And what are you doing? I'm maturing. So what am I doing? Am I, am I immature? It's time to say goodbye to the experts. Tomorrow, John and Edward will be the experts, with Jamie and Kieran being their rocks. Get it, rocks. Oh. Back to Jedward HQ, where the teams are frantically preparing to try and give the best guided tours of Cheddar Gorge ever. It's vital they remember as much as they can from what they've learnt in order to get all of the facts across to the tourists tomorrow. But the teams seem more interested in spying on each other. I can hear cheese. Jamie, you can't hear cheese. You can only smell cheese. No, I mean, they're talking about cheese. You're going to be rocking this outfit. And don't worry, Lady Gaga has not worn this outfit before. I'm going to be a block of cheese. Yes. Okay, what do you think we should do for the cave? Like a rock concert. I think we should do some air guitar. Yeah, I'm banging a bit of air guitar. And then I go, it's just a static time! It's a static mind! <laughs> static mind! I was thinking that this would be my outfit. Don't mess with me. I don't want to. Can you rock pose? Um. It's more like this, like... Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Room service! Deary me. Time you got to bed, boys, I think. Sweet dreams! Yeah. Morning! Time to get up, boys! In just an hour's time, the teams will be meeting up with the tourists and beginning their guided tours of Cheddar Gorge. Let's hope they're ready. The tourists are on their way and they have no idea what's about to hit them. I really like our tour guide to be funny, not serious. The perfect tour guide for me would be something funny, but not silly. I hope the tour guide is someone who knows what they're talking about, but isn't too strict. Well, I don't think you'll have any worries about that. The tourists arrive. Time for the tour guides to introduce themselves. What's up, guys? I'm John. He's Edward. And today we are Jedward. And we're here today to give you guys an amazing Jedly tour of Cheddar Gorge. Well, Everybody say cheese! Cheese! We need our celebrity friends to come out and help us, okay? Please welcome Jamie Bordwick from EastEnders and Karen Lean from Friday Download! <laughs> Jamie's gonna be on my team, the A team, and that's Karen Lean who's gonna be on Edward's team. We're Edward's Green, Jared's Big Adventure! I can't believe we just saw Deadwood, it was so awesome! I'm really, really excited to be able to like do this amazing like big adventure with Deadwood. It's time for the tour to begin, and Team John are kicking things off. Just as soon as John stops looking in that mirror, will they be able to get the facts about Cheddar Gorge across to the tourists successfully? Remember, whichever team delivers the facts the best gets to push the losing team round and round and round in a ball of stinky cheese. Ah! Smelly! I'm getting dizzy just thinking about it. All right, guys, welcome to Cheddar Gorge, okay? It's spectacular scenery. To my left here, we have a cave called Goff's Cave. What's Goff's Cave? It's a cave, if you didn't know, okay? It says it in the title, okay? Thanks for clearing that up. To my right here, look to the right, please, okay? That is a river called... Wait, wait let me see my... No, um, um, what's... Um, wait, hold on. Yes. Um, uh, oh, yes, it's called the Cheddar Yo River. I've got a nice cool rhyme, okay? The Cheddar Yo River runs underground, underground. Underground. The Cheddar Yo River runs underground. All day long. Amazing singing, Jamie. Really? Amazing. If you look up there, look how tall the Cheddar Gorge is. It's 400 feet tall. That's really, really tall, okay? Um, 450 feet high. Oh, dear. To my right here, if you look up there, we have some goats. They are goats. There's, oh, there's a goat, look at the goat. I didn't see that goat, okay. Okay, moving on, let's read some more notes. Okay, okay, let's see, is there any more facts? Okay, okay, um, three miles, four hundred feet. Okay, cheddar, cheddar, oh. Writing smudged, boys? I'll teach you for cheating. I got more facts, here we go. <laughs> read more facks, there we go. I'll you put it away. Goats. You got um, a, um, a falcon? A falcon is home of the fastest creature on the planet, is Shelly Gold. That's interesting, isn't it? Guys, we've now reached the end of the tour. I'm John. I'm Jamie. And together we are... Double J! It's a strong start from Team Double J, but will Edward and Kieran step up to the plate as the tour group arrives to find out all about the Cheddar Man? Let's hope they've remembered those facts. This is Cheddar Man a 9,000-year-old remains of a man made entirely 
completely of cheese. No, he's not. <laughs> Is this helping? No, no, no. Obviously, he wasn't made out of cheese. He was a real man. Well, then why is he dressed like a piece of cheese, then? He was found here in 1903. Think how crazy that is. He received a blow to the head, which made him crazy. They did a test on DNA and found a history teacher here who lives locally, is related to him, and he's his great, 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 great grandson. Any questions? No. Great. That's, um, great. Over to Team Double J, who are busy preparing for their rock concert to show how the gorge was formed. Get ready to rock! Uh, hello? John? Jamie? No! Ah! 300 million years ago, there was only the rock, and the land was covered by water. To the might of the mighty, mighty ocean. Then, two million years ago, the limestone rock froze. Yo, Jamie, give me a beat. The ice, ice melted. The water, water flow. The limestone rock, the rody, rody, rock. Yeah, I think we're gonna need some subtitles here. Drop the beat. Oh, I want my money back. Anyway, will the tourists have understood a word they just rapped, or did it distract from the facts? Good moves. It was totally crazy, but then we're rapping in a cave. I think I learnt something, but I can't quite remember because it's now, like, gone. So maybe it wasn't the best idea of teaching us, but it was still cool. Team Edward's turn to take over at the Cheddar Factory. Will their cheesy knowledge be ripe for digesting, or will the tourists think it's a bit mouldy? So guys, we're here in a cheese dairy. What do you think's made here? Cheese! State the obvious, Edward. Who do you think brought cheese to the UK? It was the Romans. They came on their soldiers like doo, doo, doo. But cheese has been made here for over 800 years. And the name cheddar cheese comes from where we are today, in cheddar. Do you know what the main ingredient for cheese is? So you put the milk in, then you add a starter, which starts the bacterial reaction. Very good knowledge, Edward. Maybe today's the day you'll finally win. And then it turns into all these tiny little pieces. And these tiny little pieces are called curd. See this liquid here? <laughs> it's called whey. And no way do you put that into the cheese. Would you like to have a cheese shower? No. Well, if we lose today, then that means we're going to be covered in this stuff. Will it be curtains for Team Edward? Or will they be celebrating all the way? It's Team Double J's turn, and things are about to get grisly. Yikes. All right, guys, Kay, me and Jamie are here today ah. to tell you about cannibalism. Who knows what cannibalism is? Cannibalism is when, like, humans eat, like, other humans. How crazy is that? Humans eating other humans. I think it's disgusting. I wouldn't eat you. <laughs> is, that, is that yuck? Yeah. yeah. Can I get a ew? Yeah. These are human skulls behind me. And if you look closely, there's scratch marks on the skulls. The flesh off them used to be cut. Oh. <laughs> they used to use them as cups and used to drink oh. out of them. I cannot believe it. And guess what else? They used to eat the brain. Oh. And they ate the eyeballs. Oh. And what else did they eat? They ate the tongue as well. Uh. Anyway, it's the final stop of the Cheddar Gorge tour and Team Edward's last attempt to impress the tourists. Will they set the world on fire with their facts about flint napping? You guys can't be sitting in a cave and not look the part. Let's get the cool outfits. Oh, lovely. And as you can see, we're all wearing reindeer skins and the good thing about wearing these at the time, it kept the heat in. So now we're going to show you guys what flint napping is. Flint is the most sharpest substance known to man. As you can see, it cuts this no problem. Wow. That's how sharp it is. Flint napping is when you get flint and you cut it to make like weapons. As you can see, there's like 
There's spears over there. You can use it for like shaving, if in, in case any of you guys got beards. Unlikely at this age. At the time, they wouldn't have had the electricity and to cook food, they had to cook it using fire. So first of all, so you create this amber. Ember. And that starts your fire. It's almost like your spark to your fire. So this is the first step. Right, once again, don't try this at home, kids. As you can see, it takes a lot of effort to do. It's, look, look, look. There's a burning amber and that's really, really hot. So why is he blowing on it? Because air makes fire spread. It'll make the spark turn into fire. Ah. There it is. You're going to smell like smoky bacon. <laughs> there you go. Here is our fire. So you guys learned a lot of facts. Yeah! Cool. What a scorcher! It's an impressive climax from Team Edward. They've finished in a blaze of glory, but have they done enough or will their dreams of victory be extinguished? It's the moment of truth. Have the tourists remembered those all-important facts on Cheddar Gorge? Or was all the rapping, fire-making and cheesing about too much of a distraction? It's time to find out as the tourists take the big test. Will the tourists remember how old the Cheddar Man is? 9,000 year old remains of a man. What human skulls were used for? They used to use them as cups. And who first brought cheese to Britain? It was the Romans. <laughs> They're being asked two questions on each of the stories. For every correct answer, there's a point in it for the team that told the story. The team with the most points will win, whilst the losers will face a horrible smelly forfeit as they'll be head over heels in the cheese ball of doom. The test is now over. It's time to reveal the final score. OK, guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed your Jedward's big adventure. Time for the verdict. <gasps> John, Jamie, you guys got 47 points. That's just should be enough to win. Come on, Edward and Kieran, you got forty four points. Yeah! 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 So close, Edward. Yeah! No yeah! way. No way. Why do I always John. lose? That's what I'm talking about. Give me some skin, John. Come here, man. John. Yes. I lost again, again, John. Four times. Four. That's the closest he's been to winning all series. That's how it works, Edward. Okay. I'm John. I'm Jamie. And together we are Double J. Woo! Yes. Congratulations, Team Double J. And commiserations, Edward and Kieran. It's forfeit time, boys. Here you go, guys. Here's your curds and way. Double J's prize is to push them down the hill. Jamie, spin the Zorb. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Edward! Take that! <laughs> 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 <laughs>